the Human Library started in the spring of 2000 in Denmark and now it will be used as a central focus of this class, giving each and every one of you an opportunity to get to not only know yourself better, but those around you in your local and global community. Just like any other library, except in this case, humans are the books. You'll get a lot from this experience, including growing in your own perspective as well as that of others. Hopefully, you will look at yourself through a critical lens, understanding that your life is framed by memories and experiences. For more information about human libraries, visit humanlibrary.org. Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Dillard. I'm a senior here at the University of Tennessee College of Social Work. I'm also the Bachelor of Social Work Organization Treasurer. I want to elaborate on what I learned in Dr. Hall's diversity class. What I learned in Dr. Hall's diversity class was just to not look through life just by my eyes alone. Just to consider the other people that populate this world. There's seven billion people on this world, so there's several different vantage points to the way this people view life. And me as a white northeastern uh, Tennessee hillbilly, I have a certain uh, view on life. I'm also a 12-year military veteran, so those types of it, experiences have, have molded my view. However, in the Dr. Hall's diversity class, I was able to view other races, creeds, genders, and see how they are considering uh, the way the world is in their eyes. And as a social worker, I do think it's very important to consider other uh, cultures and diverse opinions to not just view life through your own eyeballs and to let others voice their opinions as well. In Dr. Hall's class, I learned about different cultures and oppressed populations and about the many modes of oppression that perpetuate the us versus them mentality in our society. The biggest takeaway in this for me was reflecting that knowledge back onto myself. I was challenged to look at myself openly and honestly and identify my own biases and prejudgments and then think about how those things will affect my social work practice and what I can do to keep them in check. Hi, I think an important part of social work in any profession where you're working with, with clients and other people is knowing what your biases are. Dr. Hall's class challenges you to dig deep and, and learn what your biases are and, and challenge you to think, why do you think the way you do? Why do you feel the way you do? And why do you react the way you do? I urge you to take Dr. Hall's class so that you can learn these preconceived notions and biases about yourself so that you can become aware and counteract them and be productive and, and help people and help yourself.